Welcome back, movie lovers. Today, we're revisiting the cinematic gem 2067, 2020, where a desperate gamble unfolds. A lone man, a dying earth, and a cryptic message from 47 years in the future. Join us on this recap journey, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, don't skip a moment of the thrilling narrative. In the year 2067, the world lay in ruins due to irreversible climate change, rendering all plant life extinct and oxygen levels dangerously low. Survivors relied on artificial oxygen produced by the Chronicorp Corporation, the sole savior in a desolate world. Yet this synthetic solution carried a deadly side effect known as the sickness, hastening humanity's demise. Ethan White, a resident of the last standing Australian city, toiled alongside his friend Jude as mechanics for Chronicorp. His wife Xanthi, a victim of the sickness, fueled Ethan's relentless efforts to secure better oxygen. Their mundane routine took an unexpected turn when Chronicorp's CTO, Regina Jackson, summoned them to her office, revealing a dire truth. Humanity faced extinction, unless something changed. Regina disclosed a shocking revelation. Ethan held the key to salvation. Skeptical, Ethan visited Chronicorp's lab, where Dr. Billy Mitchell explained his father's project, initiated two decades prior. The colossal machine before them, the Chronicle, functioned as a time travel device. In an initial experiment, radio waves projected 407 years into the future, a time when Earth would rejuvenate with vegetation and sustainable oxygen. This ray of hope dimmed as the scientists detected an anomaly. The waves sent into the future returned altered, sparking uncertainty about the anticipated salvation. Decoding the altered message, the team at Chronicorp discovered a plea from the future. Send Ethan White. Regina and her team, now convinced of Ethan's pivotal role, implored him to travel to 2474 and retrieve the cure. Ethan, however, dismissed their plea, attributing it to Regina's bluffing and harboring reservations about leaving his ailing wife, Xanthi. At a diner with Jude, amid sipping on crisp oxygen, Ethan remained steadfast in his refusal. Citing disdain for his absent father, who abandoned him and his late mother 20 years ago, Ethan resented the idea of following in those footsteps. Raised by Jude, whom he considered both an older brother and best friend, Ethan blamed his father for prioritizing his project over family. Jude, recognizing the gravity of the situation, urged Ethan to consider the only path to save Xanthi lay in finding a cure. Memories of his eighth birthday resurfaced, recalling a peculiar gift from his father, a box containing a mysterious device that affixed permanently to his wrist, its purpose still unknown. Reluctantly, Ethan shared the dilemma with Xanthi, who, aware of the stakes, encouraged him to embark on this journey. The next morning, carving a promise on a metal flower, Ethan assured Xanthi he would find his way back to her. Returning to Regina's office, he agreed to undertake the perilous journey, emphasizing that any cure found must first reach Xanthi. Regina, now committed to the mission, leads Ethan back to the lab. Dr. Mitchell presents the essential suit for the time travel journey, exposing a stark truth. There's no concrete plan for what lies ahead. Unfazed, they equip Ethan with an AI companion named Archie, tasked with monitoring his vitals and aiding navigation through time. With a sense of trepidation, Ethan is catapulted into the time machine. Within the time vortex, Ethan hurtles through temporal currents, plummeting from the sky into an unfamiliar jungle. Friction ignites his suit, prompting a hasty exit. In awe of nature's revival, he follows Archie's guidance to a bunker door, only to discover a haunting sight, a skeleton bearing his own name its skull marked by a bullet hole. Unsettled, he retrieves the skeleton's Archie, revealing a chilling recording wherein a desperate voice justifies a fatal act. Haunted by the grim fate seemingly foretold, Ethan encounters an eerie revelation. The skeleton's wrist device, identical to his own, emanates a green light, a stark contrast to his lifelong red indicator. That night, surviving on poisonous berries, Ethan succumbs to unconsciousness. To his surprise, he awakens to Jude's familiar face, the lab, misinterpreting vitals, hastily dispatch Jude with the cure, averting Ethan's demise. As they confront the unaltered remains of Ethan, the duo, armed with Archie, seeks another door. Eye-scanning technology grants them access, unveiling a monitor that welcomes Ethan into an enigmatic realm. Prompted for a DNA sample, Ethan complies, triggering his wrist device and turning its light green. The room illuminates, revealing Chronocorp's lab 407 years into the future. The time machine stands before them, sparking excitement in Jude, who envisions a return to the past. However, Ethan remains skeptical, 
convinced that altering their actions won't spare him from the fate observed in the remains of the other Ethan. Delving into the system log, Ethan discovers a holographic message from his father. The time machine's original purpose was to gather future oxygen data and transmit it to the past. Ethan's father, following an unexpected message, sent Ethan to the future, validating the decision through a DNA verification. Their optimism falters as they realize the time machine, drained over four centuries, lacks the power for a return journey. Worse, the lab's activation triggers a core malfunction, threatening a nuclear explosion within four hours. Faced with imminent danger, they must urgently repair the time machine to escape the impending catastrophe. Venturing outside, they encounter a city, once vibrant, now reclaimed by nature. Human absence and scattered skeletons attest to Earth's gradual recovery post-human extinction. Upon reaching his wife's house, Ethan is shattered to discover only her bones, plunging into despair. Jude, attempting to persuade him to return to the past, hints at the non-existence of a cure even in the future. Suspicion creeps into Ethan's mind, leading him to replay the recording on the rusty Archie. To his shock, he recognizes Jude's voice, seemingly admitting to shooting him. Confrontation ensues, with Jude vehemently denying the accusation. Choosing to prioritize the mission, Ethan, with Jude's reluctant assistance, repairs the power core and returns to the lab. The Chronicle system now operational, they await the portal launch, set for 37 minutes. Despite the countdown reaching zero, Ethan's remains still linger behind the door, signaling an unchanged future. In a quest for truth, Ethan swaps batteries between his current Archie and the rusty one, revealing another video. In this unsettling revelation, Ethan learns that Jude will be the cause of his demise, claiming he acts to protect him. Skeptical, Ethan confines his brother and delves into his father's holographic log, uncovering a secret conversation between his father and Chronicorp's CTO, Regina Jackson. The revelation exposes conflicting motives. Ethan's father sought to use the time machine to save humanity, while the CTO aimed to escape the dying time with a select few. Locked in this moral dilemma, Ethan grasps the pivotal role assigned to him by his father. To prevent the CTO's plan, the time machine's activation requires an operational link from both past and future, with Ethan's DNA serving as the verification key. Fueled by anger at his father's actions, the CTO swiftly eliminates him, revealing a sinister plot to Jude, Ordered to kill Ethan's mother and become Ethan's guardian, Jude's true allegiance becomes clear. Ethan, grappling with the betrayal, realizes he misjudged his father, who never intentionally abandoned them. In a bid to thwart Regina's plan to bring a select few into the future, Ethan attempts to shut down the time machine. Jude intervenes, exposing his directive to ensure Ethan repairs the power failure. Struggling with guilt, Jude, unable to harm his brother-like friend, takes his own life. Consumed by rage and regret, Ethan resolves to fulfill his father's wish, finding a cure for the dying humans. Viewing his father's initial message on the monitor, Ethan deciphers that the plea, send Ethan White, originated from himself. In a desperate attempt to rewrite history, Ethan codes the message and dispatches it into the past. Simultaneously, in the 2067 laboratory, the CTO and her privileged entourage await the time machine's activation. To their astonishment, the machine returns not with the anticipated chosen few, but with hundreds of extinct plants and a chilling record of Ethan's father's murder. Ethan, determined to alter fate, destroys the time machine, thwarting the CTO's plan. She faces arrest for her crimes. The plants sent to 2067 regenerate the planet. Though Ethan remains in the future, he buries Jude, forgives him, and notices the disappearance of his future self's corpse. Witnessing a thriving, eco-friendly city, Ethan's choice reshapes humanity's destiny. His wife, understanding his sacrifice, receives a flower. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.